Hi all, in this video we will see how to release ESS login credentials to employees. Before releasing the login credentials, first you have to configure email setup and the payroll settings. For that, you have to click on your company name, you have to go to payroll settings. Then you have to go to configure rules, then email setup. To click on this customize email configuration and first under login name like from which mail id all the mails should reach to employees that mail id you have to enter for example if you are releasing a login credentials to employee from which mail id you should reach the employee that mail id you have to enter here a common mail id and password for the same your outgoing server and your SMTP port details. This details if you don't have you can check with your IT team and you can clip a display name like HR support or payroll support. Instead of the mail ID whatever the display name that you enter the same it will reflect to the employees. And then you have to enable if you are the secure socket you have to enable this requires SSL encryption. Once you enter all these details have to click on send test mail. Once you click on send test mail to this mail id you will receive a test mail and then you have to save this configuration. This is a one time configuration you have to do. Once you configure this then you can start all mail communications from the application. Once you configure this then to release login credentials You have to go to employees then you have to go to more then you have to click on employees and then access management under access management you have to click on create logins here whichever employees logins is not yet released you will able to find those employee names here you have to select a particular employee then you have to click on create once you click on create logins will be sent to the mail id reflecting in this email id page once you release the login credentials that employee name will not reflect in this login creation page and if you have not released any employee login that employee if it is not reflecting in this page you have to ensure whether you have enabled that enable ESS or not under employee master whichever employee you are not able to uh, find in that login creation page that employee you can select And under official details, you have to check whether you have enabled this enable ESS or not. If you check this enable ESS, then only this particular employee name will reflect under login creation page. So when you have to enable that and save, then the same employee name will reflect under the login creation page. Okay, so once you release logins, if any employee come back that he has forgot his password, you can reset the password using this reset passwords. Have to enter the employee code. If login has been released, you will get the username and then mail id it will reflect here. Once you click on send, this mail or uh, new password will be sent to this mail id whatever reflecting here along with all the login credentials once again like this you can reset employees password from this reset password option and once you release the login if you want to deactivate any employee ESS account, the same you can manage using this activate users. You have to click on this activate users. Whichever employee account you want to deactivate, 
you can select that particular employee and then you have to click on deactivate. Once you click on deactivate, that particular employee account will get deactivated and then the employee will not able to log into ESS account. Can view the status. Again logging this activate users. Okay, it will show the status as deactivate. And again if you want to activate you have to select the same and then you have to click on activate. Till you activate the employee will not able to log in into his ESS account. Like this you can activate or deactivate a particular employee account. This is about login creation, password reset and employee ESS account activation or deactivation. Thanks for watching this video.